let's talk about Google Trends and how I would use it, how I would recommend using it. So let's go to Google Trends by going to trends.google.com. And I do want to just start with not Taylor Swift or Kim Kardashian, but how about a topic that you're interested in researching? Um, Leah, since you had brought the question up, maybe you could uh, give us a topic to start with. Well, I just wanted to start off really broad and just search yoga because- Sure, yeah, I let's do that. Sure, you know, that was- Yeah, and when, when before we press enter or click on anything, um, you know, Google, uh, is semantically or topically based. And so you can see that they understand certain things like yoga being a discipline, or I guess there's a laptop that, that, that appropriates, culturally appropriates that word. Um, and then there's a topic versus search term that's interesting because they understand certain things about yoga as a topic and blah, 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 yoga mat. So um, if we're not sure what to do, we'll just do yoga as a search term because then it's broadest and allows us to have the most um, now, if somehow the Lenovo laptop is becoming, it's, okay, so first of all, let's, let's start here. And what's interesting is I always do, like, instead of the past 12 months, I'll just do 2004 to present, just to see what the, because the trend, Google trends, we want to know whether or not um, a, a term is, is becoming more popular in the consciousness or, or less popular. And so interesting that it kind of grew for a while, and now it's been on the decline for the past couple of years. You know, in fact, we do do five past five years. It's been on a consistent decline, which is kind of sad. Um, but you know, as since yoga isn't just from a few decades ago, but from I think yoga has uh, at least a few years of of a history. Um, it should come back. You know, as as everything does with fashion, it'll come back at, at some point. But right now, it is on the decline which means fewer people are looking for it on YouTube and on Google, et cetera. It's still an extremely popular term. So it's not like it's a bad idea to go into business do, doing yoga but, or content with yoga. But let, let's keep scrolling down here. Can I just ask a quick question before sure. you scroll? The yeah. numbers on the left-hand side of that graph, it says 2550. Oh, is yeah. That, what does Don't that worry mean? about these. Don't worry it's, about it's just relative. I, I've always been real confused by the numbers too. It, it doesn't okay. mean anything other than just to help us compare what's going on over mm -hmm. over a long period of time. Okay. So um, yeah, let's let's just skip that and, and then we'll, especially if we compare it with another term, we'll, we'll start to see it being more useful. Um, they give you, they give me US because I'm in the US. Uh, oh, also because it's set up as US here. But if I'm interested in, um, I'll just do worldwide. How's that? And it might give us, ah, oh, it's still, still a decline worldwide. Uh, past five years. Um, categories. Uh, yeah, this is pretty confusing. Uh, we're going we're to skip the categories and instead of web search, image search, news, YouTube search, that might be interesting too. Well, let's take a look at YouTube actually. Now, isn't that interesting for the past uh, no, five years? Notice this, this, the spike like Giant COVID spike here. <laughs> for, for, for whatever reason, like that, maybe that was, there was, that was a, probably COVID. COVID, it, it is COVID, March. Look at this. People suddenly on YouTube say, hey, can't go to COVID, can't go to uh, my yoga studio anymore. I guess I'm going online now with yoga. And so there was a giant spike, but still interestingly, it's gotten down over the past, um, past two years. Uh, so now we're doing YouTube search, okay? So that's interesting. I, I think that's relevant too, because you, there you are making a lot of YouTube videos. So let's scroll down and find out where is it most popular? Wow, so, okay, let me just explain here. When we say by popularity, obviously this is, these are not absolute numbers. There are way more people in the United States than there are in Switzerland or in Austria, um, probably searching yoga. Uh, but what these numbers suggest is the sort of um, intensity of the search compared to all the searches in that country. Um, you know, apparently Canadians are very interested in yoga. Uh, in the past five years and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So that might be interesting as you start to target your, you know, ads to various countries or to just, you know, maybe do some market research, talk to some Swiss people and go, what's, what's going on in yoga in your country? Why is it getting popular now or something like that? And then if we scroll down, the related topics are, well, just like it sounds, uh, based on the yoga search for YouTube. Now, again, we are, we are using YouTube search. If we do web search, it's going to be different. But let's just stick with YouTube because we're interested in, in getting better at our YouTube game. 
Um, these, have you heard of any of these people, Leah? Uh, I've heard of Arlo Yoga and Yoga with Cassandra, but the others I've never heard of. Okay, so you have, so, so exactly. So these are apparently the influencers right now on, on yoga or anyway, the, the, the related search terms and you can keep going and see, okay, that one is definitely not, not um, relevant anymore. Mudra, human head, that's kind of weird. Um, mudra, I guess is relevant. I can, I can, you know, I can imagine how might, that might be relevant. Um, so if we start to say, you know what? Some of these are really not relevant this is where we will now change from yoga to yoga topic. Let's try this now and see if that, that changes things. Okay, yoga to yoga topic. Now let's do, well, look, there's a, there's a promising trend here. It's going up. Let's go ahead and look at uh, 2008 to present. Well, okay. Now, now, now this is a really weird chart, okay? What, what, what we need to understand about this is that yoga as a topic that Google understands as some like all these different words and keywords are semantically related yoga as an overall topic. Google under, Google has basically, I'm sure, has understood yoga better and better over the years, which is why in the beginning, Google's like, I don't really know what yoga means. So that's all over the place in terms of the trends, right? But as you can see, as it becomes stabilized, like Google's like, ah, I'm starting to understand what yoga means. You could see that Google's own trends have become more stabilized. It's like, I'm understanding what yoga means and I think people are liking it more and more, says Google based on the topic. So uh, now this is not very helpful now, you know, worldwide in terms of the topic, hmm, Japan, and then, and then, and then very weak everywhere else. Uh, brawling and camera. Okay, now we know that this is not really the correct search. You see, this is, Google still doesn't really understand yoga, the topic, which is why we probably should go back to yoga, the search term. And what about discipline? I mean, that might be more. Oh yeah, the yoga, yoga is a discipline. Let's take a look at mm. that. Let's and this is look. still the YouTube search you're looking at as well. Still, still looking at YouTube search. Yeah. This is similar, I think, to yoga, the search term. Yeah, now we're looking back at similar things. Uh, yeah, these are all yoga related, truly yoga related. Vinegar condiment is starting to be like, what the, what the hell? Okay, now this is starting to be weird. Sean Lan, I don't know who that is, but if that's not a yoga type related thing, then it's starting to get weird here. Um, Grinch fictional character, obviously not related. Um, but anyway, let's keep going here. Related queries. Okay. So you can see basically with the related queries, that's Cassandra, that these are, these are all influencers, people who are, who have heard about those people and are, are kind of looking them up. So that's not helpful to us because we're not going to, unless you want to make a video talking about how much you appreciate yoga, Cassandra, yoga with Cassandra or a, yoga with Adrian, that actually might get your video quite a, quite a few views, right? Because that is being searched. And then you could talk praisingly about, or, or critically, because maybe you say, well, I really like yoga with Adrian in this way, but what I, what I wish you would do differently or what I do differently uh, is that I don't do the yoga in that way because I think it could be harmful for certain people, you know, whatever, et cetera. I think it's perfectly a good idea to make um, critical videos of major influencers who are not likely to watch your you know, watch our videos, um, but to, to say in a very reasonable way where your audience goes, wow, okay, I've learned something about how that influencer does things. Um, yoga's par, I don't know, I guess it's, um... so as you scroll through these queries, are there things you're like, maybe I can make a video about that, yoga challenges, you could certainly make a video about that, right, that's a, that's a content idea for you right there, it is being searched. Um, I don't know what boho is, but is it related to yoga? Maybe, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, all, we're tapped out at 25, and that's pretty much all we can do. Actually, no, there's more we can do. We can basically click on a term that we like, and it automatically goes to that term, you know, and then we can kind of go, go further in, 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 into this. The other thing we can do is um, add to comparison, search on Google, or explore. I think explore is just, yeah, it's just searching that particular term. So uh, now if we click compare. Let's see if it's smart. No, you, you just have to type in another term. And so let's say it's yoga challenge. And how about um, yoga, yoga postures? Yoga postures. Yoga poses, not postures, poses, right? Poses, postures. Yeah. Okay. So 
see, this is where the numbers help a little bit, or at least just a chart. You can see uh, people are searching yoga poses way more than yoga postures. How about on YouTube? Let's take a look. Oh, that's interesting. So on YouTube, it's opposite. Since we're making YouTube videos and this is what we care about, we would be we would do better with yoga challenges than we would with yoga poses. That's actually interesting because when I would, if I was to research a yoga pose, I would search Google first. Okay. Yep. And not YouTube. Right. Um, right. But if I was going to Google a yoga challenge, I would expect to look for videos that yes, you know, you know ten day challenge, and it would actually have videos of that. Right. So that would probably explain why that gra graph is like that. Um. If you want to kind of further dig into this, I mean, they, they give us the related queries for each of these uh, keywords. And if you feel like these two are quite related, you could see if there's any related uh, that are the same. But anyway, these are just giving you more data for things you could research. So anyway, Google Trends is somewhat interesting. It's, it doesn't give us super, not a whole lot of data, but it kind of gives us at least for big topics, it gives us a sense of, what we might want to look into and what seems to be petering out versus growing. So hope that helps.